Appears just a day after the rape of a three-year-old girl and the sexual assault of a four-year-old allegedly by a school sweeper on the school premises in Maharashtra's Badlapur brought angry parents to the streets demanding justice and safety for their daughters. Four FIRs have been filed and this, of course, is against unidentified individuals for the real Roko protest, while Section 144 continues to be in place in the area for a second straight day with internet also being shut today. Meanwhile, as a preventive measure, the accused will be produced in the court today via video conferencing. And of course, we're tracking all the details that are coming in right now. Meanwhile, even as the probe continues into this matter, political bickering has also taken center stage with the Sena UBT and the NCP Sharad Power faction hitting out at the ruling Mahayuti government. Agar एक पब्लिक क्राइ हुआ है बलात्कार के खिलाफ दो छोटी बच्चियां हैं जिनको समझ में नहीं कि हमारे साथ कौन सा कौन अपराध किया है और उस लड़की को प्रोटेक्शन देने के बजाय न्याय मांगने के लिए जो लोग सड़क पर उतरे हैं आप उनके खिलाफ अपराधिक मामले दायर करते हो सबसे पहली बात है कि ये क्यों हुआ जिस संस्था में हुआ ये संस्था किसकी है लोग इसलिए सड़क पर उतरे हैं क्योंकि पुलिस पुलिस स्टेशन स्टेशन पर उनका अपराध दाखिल नहीं कर रहे थे लोग महाराष्ट्र में क्राइम अगेंस्ट वुमेन बढ़ता जा रहा है केंद्र सरकार का डेटा कहता है कि महाराष्ट्र में क्राइम बढ़ा जा रहा है कल की बलात्कार की जो घटना हुई वो बहुत संवेदनशील तरह से हम सबने उसको देखना चाहिए क्योंकि एक बच्ची है हमारी देश की बच्ची है वो और उसकी जिम्मेदारी हम सबकी है लेकिन जिस तरह से सरकार ने जब पहली बार कंप्लेन आई कंप्लेन के बारे में शायद कुछ ठीक से एक्शन नहीं ली गई तो इसका जवाब शिक्षा मंत्रालय ने देना होगा कि आपने कुछ क्यों नहीं किया उसकी इंक्वायरी होनी चाहिए all right, so this is of course the attack from the opposition that's coming in right now. Meanwhile, Mumbai's Guardian Minister Mangal Prabhat Loda has now recommended imperative changes to avoid a rerun of any such incidents. Listen in. जो घटना घटी है उसके बाद सरकार गंभीरता से चीजों को ले रही है क्या निर्णय लिए गए हैं और किस तरीके से उसे इम्प्लीमेंट किया जाएगा सर? Had a meeting of the around hundred principals of the different colleges of the Mumbai city, and I instructed them to for four things. One. That uh, wherever there are Mahila uh, uh, help, help centers, Mahila Sochale, the ladies' staff is must. Two, the bus driver, canteen operators, staff, security persons, there should be a police verification of all of them. Three, you should start self defense courses in all schools and colleges. We are also starting it in all over Maharashtra in our ITIs. And the last point was there will be a special committee of the uh, ladies, uh, the parents, girl, uh, female parents of the child, uh, and there will be a regular meeting of every month, which will be attended by some uh, female teacher or staff member, and their whatever their suggestions and grievances are will be strictly followed. Well, as expected, as you see on your screens right now, the visuals are. Out. There's a massive protest across the state, especially in Badlapur. There's lots of pressure against the Maharashtra government, and all of this is understandable. Joining us on the broadcast are a panel of experts here, getting us their insights about what exactly is happening, what should be done, and if what is being done by the government is enough. Asim Kamla, spokesperson of the BJP, joins us. Advocate Sushil Vyas, spokesperson of the Shina Shinde faction, is also joining us. PK Jain, former additional DGP Maharashtra, Dr. Charu Wali Khanna, former member of the NCW, and also a senior advocate is joining us right now right so let's now start with what's happening right now let me start with mr pk jain uh, mr jain before i ask you the question that everyone seems to be asking right now let me just go through the fire the details that we have right now without of course revealing the identity of the victims there the incident took place on august 13 the parents of the two girls found this out they informed the doctors they took uh, the girls to the police station as well and the incident was reported early on august 16 however the FIR was only filed 11 hours later, around 9 p.m. on August 16. Now, this person was arrested the next day. But Mr. P.K. Jain, the question here is that 
is there any plausible reason as to why it would take the police 11 hours for an F, uh, to file an FR in this matter, especially in a case which is as sensitive as this? Ashish, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Ashish? Yes, Mr. Pikachen, go ahead. I can hear you. Uh, see, Ashish, uh, thank you very much for inviting me to the show. Um, it is very unfortunate that in an like Mr. this... Mr. Pikachen, there seems community. to be some issue with your network right now. We'll fix that up. We'll fix that up. I'll ask uh, Dr. Charuwali Khanna to, you know, get us details about this because you also have been a senior advocate. You've seen multiple such cases, uh, Dr. Charuwali Khanna. Help us understand, is there any plausible reason as to why it would take the police 11 hours to file an FR in a case like this? None at all. When a cognizable offence has been reported, it is the duty of the police to immediately file an FIR, register the FIR, the first information report, and then go in for an investigation. This is not a, this is a genius crime. So they took 11 hours, were they doing investigation first, and then they're going to, uh, you know, register the FIR. The law is very clear. Even the new Sanhita and the Supreme Court, very clear. The moment a cog information of a cognizable offence is given to the police, it is their duty to register the FIR. Now, why is this casual attitude by the police? Because every nobody seems to be taking women's safety, children's safety, uh, you know, seriously. I just heard the minister saying we're going to start self-defence classes. What are you going to start for children who are three and four years old? What is this depravity in our society, in our culture, which we claim to respect women and have the highest and the most refined culture and civilization? What is it? That's what's disturbing me. What is it that every second man is a predator? And I think a very thorough investigation Absolutely. needs to be done. But what was the cause for this? What was there in this... Similarly, the same similar thing happened in Bengal and now the same thing is happening in Maharashtra and all the politicians do is we'll set up a committee. What is the purpose of these committees? When, why do you not have technical surveillance? If the behavior of the human being, you are not interested Absolutely. in changing, if you are not interested in changing your education system and sensitizing the youth of this country, at least use technology, have a CCTV and have someone monitoring the CCTV. The problem here, who Dr. Charu Ali Khanna, is, is that there was a CCTV in place from what we are understanding, but it it's was not, not operational. Working. Clyde Crasto from the NCP is joining us right now. Mr. Clyde Crasto, I'll take this point across to you right now. The parents were made to wait for 11 hours to file an FIR. They were there with the girls, with the complaint, but the FIR was not registered. There were CCTVs, but they were not operational. Isn't this a systematic failure? Absolutely. You know, the, the police there, I mean, I believe that first they said that they would be transferred the station in charge. And then after the public pressure, she was suspended, the police station in charge. But the fact of the matter is all across Maharashtra, if you look at how the home department has been functioning, there are question marks that will come up. So the question about why for 12 hours the FIR was not uh, registered is always going to be, uh, you know, questioned. And there needs to be an answer for that. There are a lot of other things, you know, like why would the school, uh, you know, send a male attendant with two uh, girl children? That's the question mark that has to come up. Why wasn't there a lady in charge? You know, so a lot of things that come up. But the fact of the matter is, even when you see people were going out, you know, out of hand, they say the people were getting onto the track. But even Lati charge for that matter, these are the questions that need to be asked. I think somewhere as a society, you know, we begin to fail our own people. I mean, women and children across anywhere, whether we are, we are talking about Calcutta recently, right now, we are talking about, you know, in Badlapur, in now in Akola, somewhere the whole system seems to be failing because there's no fear of the law. I mean, in, in Maharashtra also, if you look at there's no fear Absolutely. of the law. People are like, you know, someone is, you know, uh, uh, you know driving the car fast, killing well, then he's asked to write, uh, you know, 500 per word essay. Then he's asked to, you know, go and do a driving training and all that. I mean, where are we heading as, as a system also is a question mark. So I think the home department in Maharashtra also needs to ask themselves, Mr. Fadnavis also needs to ask himself that, you know, what is he doing? Has he not been able to, you know, put the fear of the law in the people?
that's what the question is going to keep coming up and at the same time absolutely I mean, what's the know, government like, doing I that's a big question that mr clyde grasso like you're pointing out and ad advocate sushil vyas i just have to interrupt you there you because we also have advocate sushil vyas joining us from the shiv sena shinde faction here right right mr clyde grasso finish your point yeah my point is also i heard somebody said that they're going to give training to these four year old five year old toddlers how to take care of themselves or something of like that i mean how can you even talk like this i mean they are they are in the nascent stage of their life you know you are asking we're going to give them some kind of training and train this grown up men who are sick in the mind like this people sick in the mind you can't train them you're going to train right. what are they going to train them to scream and shout when somebody comes like at this point of time we need to be sensitive and sense at the moment and not talk these kind of absolutely right advocate sushil vyas a spokesperson of Shiv Sena Shinde faction is joining us right now. You just heard what Clyde Crasto from the NCP said. The Maharashtra government, on the other hand, is saying that prompt action is being taken. Do you really think if prompt action was taken, there would be these massive protests? Because one of the points that the protesters are raising is that it took you 11 hours to register an FIR. It took you four days to arrest the accused. If you had done it on time, if your police force had taken action on time, you, we wouldn't be seeing such massive protests. In a way, it's the state machinery, it's the police machine, machinery that has actually led. Oh, what's happening right now at Badlapur? Ah, uh, see, uh, at the outset, I admit there is a gross negligence, non-performance of duty on the part of the concerned police station and the police officers, those who are involved, and the necessary action initially, which has to be taken, has already been taken, and SIT has been formed under the uh, some IG level officer, Miss Tising, that will take its uh, file their report. Uh, but there is no denial. There was a failure on the part of uh, police station concern to register the fire uh, so we cannot defend that uh, and apart from that uh, my my friend was just now saying this was not that that was not there so education minister was there yesterday also today also he visited and if he even went saying that mr mr kesar ka he went on record saying that if regularities are found we will appoint administrator if requires to be in that particular school and and as far as my information is the school principal is also suspended the concerned class teacher is suspended two uh, assistant teachers are suspended this uh, but and mr saying, mr vyas the uh, question here uh, is yeah. not mr vyas the question here is not what the government is doing after the incident takes place the entire point of concern here is that why are these incidents being allowed to recur again and again because we are looking at a systematic failure there are cctvs they were not functional why did the government not have a check and balance earlier as well as to why it's not functioning here your minister comes out and says that we will give some sort of a defense uh, uh, practice to all of these girls why don't you train the boys why don't you train these pervert uh, people why don't you train people to identify non teaching staff or uh, you know have proper background screening before hiring them instead of actually trying to teach four girls how to how to uh, do their own defense uh, as is uh, with respect to you i think we are just mistaken the meeting which was held by the guardian minister of mumbai suburban mr loda ji who was there on uh, just now of colleges not schools he said 100 colleges of my area so to that please and then college students are up. but uh, he was not uh, referring to the incident and the uh, children those who are going to school what happened is this is a heinous crime. nobody can defend in any manner whatsoever what has taken the lapses and negligence yes it is there and the law will take its own course against the concerned people rest assured nobody will be shielded nobody will be left out that is sure that government is bent upon doing that we have appointed Absolutely. special public prosecutor okay. Mr. Ujjal Nikam is already appointed. Okay. 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 P K Jain also joins us right now. I believe your network is fixed right now, Mr. P K Jain. FIRs were quickly filed against three hundred protesters, but the big question is: while there is such promptness, while clamping down on the protests, why isn't there so much promptness, so much swiftness as far as taking action against the accused is concerned? Like we rightly pointed out here. 11 hours of delay the parents there imagine the trauma that they were going through the fact that their 3 year old child was raped the 4 year old child was sexually assaulted they are being made to wait for 11 hours by police why why would the police even do that ashish good afternoon it is absolutely indefensible there is no reason why there should be such a long delay in the registration of the fir and this action that follows so therefore i cannot defend this at all i have no words to say it is unfortunate 
and that senior PI being a lady herself, if she is not sensitive to such issues, then else will be. So there's no reason she should be suspended. She has been suspended already. Now the departmental inquiry should be started against her and a new action should be taken. As far as the protesters is concerned, Ashish, let us be very clear about it. Incident has happened. If the police, though it may be late, action has started already. But if we uh, take the law and order in our own hands and don't trust the machinery at all, then there'll be chaos all around. So they were given a long rope. They were, uh, you know, but, I saw... But Mr. Pichajan, how does... How, how do the protesters... Mr. Pichajan, sorry to interrupt. How do these people trust the machinery? Because four days the person was not arrested. 11 hours the parents are being made to wait. So when you actually go through the system, you follow the process, there's nothing that you're getting. Only when you're protesting, only when you're actually, uh, you know, coming out on the streets, you're stopping the train, is the chief minister of the state actually taking a cognizance of the matter. So clearly the normal route, which usually should be taken, the SOP, that's not helping the people. That is why they're being pushed to protest. See, Ashish, Ashish, I can say only one thing that Everybody in the system is not bad. The SHO did not take action, a prompt action. She uh, will be punished. She has been punished. As far as the senior officers are concerned, once they take cognizance, they come, uh, they are in the picture, the things start improving. Eventually, it is the same machinery which is going to function, whichever party is going to be in power. So if there is a bad act, he should be uh, action should be taken against that act. And the other people who are good in the system, they should take over and uh, the system starts functioning again. We cannot just uh, derail the system and expect the uh, wonders out of them. So action will be taken against the defaulters. At the same time, when the investigation should be taking place, the police machinery gets busy with the law and order uh, problem because that's the first priority. So the entire focus goes from the investigation to handling of law and order. Yes, I, and I agree with you that many things in this country are not happening unless there's a proper agitation against them. In this case also, agitation had taken place Absolutely. This action of police force was Absolutely. Taken Mr. we are running short of time now. Before I wrap this discussion up, Dr. Charuwali Kanna, a closing remark from our end because viewers right now watching must be so concerned. Now, it is said that toddlers are, of course, toddlers are safe only at their homes. If there's anywhere they're safe, it's their school. And even here, you're looking at the young girls being targeted by perverts. And on the other hand, instead of actually taking action, the principal during the investigation is making an excuse that she is not well. The class teacher is also unresponsive. Such carelessness from those in responsible positions. What exactly can parents even do? See, I think this is a fallacy. The children are safe in their home and in their schools. They are most unsafe in their homes because a lot of cases are coming of parents and family abuse, which we all know about it. It's now that the only good thing about the education system is that children are being taught what is good touch and bad touch? Because initially there was a lot of resistance about this reproductive rights or sexual education. And children are speaking out that this is happening to them. But what, what are we going to do with the predators? Right. What about the adults, the youngsters? Why are these crimes being committed? We need to understand. And this lady, uh, police person who took 11 hours, the law, the latest sanita, everywhere. It's written, it's mandatory to register an FIR. The moment a cognitive offence takes place, otherwise right. she can be punished. Now, what is the reason for the 11 hours? Was there some political pressure? Was it something? I'm more concerned about that because the gentleman before me said that we cannot deride the system. But it's obvious that the state machinery has collapsed. And we need to, if we have to take corrective action and to respect the people who are supposed to protect us, we need to understand what is wrong with the system. I think this is the lady who has been suspended, right. the IO or the SHO in charge, her trial is most important to me. That what was it? Maybe there's some other reason. Uh, absolutely. Because no sane person, no sane police person, the first thing they're taught. And that's what the law says. And she did not register their fire. I mean, it's shocking. It's disturbing. I have absolutely. no words Very serious to, questions here. Know. Glaring lapses that have also come to the fore. And I also think, Dr. Khannaji, this is, of course, a concern that as soon as an issue like this comes up, the discussion immediately is about it's rape in your state versus the rape in my state. As soon as there is a case like this, instead of going full throttle against the perpetrators, the governments actually start becoming defensive and they start listing out the rapes that are taking place in other states under other governments. I think that's a mindset that we really need to come out of and look at women's safety issue as a whole. Appreciate you all for joining us on the broadcast for a very serious discussion here and also something that the Maharashtra government is also looking
watched very closely. A lot of directives also being issued, but will they help? Will they actually curb such cases? That's a big question that remains. Appreciate you joining us on the broadcast. And of course, viewers, on the notice, a wrap on this edition of the Bulletin. For more news and updates, stay tuned to Mirror Now.